Police are calling it a brazen robbery attempt, and it happened at a local hospital. A man tried to prevent a woman from leaving the parking garage and even jumped into her car. Amy Wattis is live with more on what the woman did next and how police caught that suspect. Amy. Police claim, say the suspect claimed he was a UPMC employee before trying to steal that woman's car. Turns out he was not an employee with UPMC, and tonight he's behind bars facing a long list of charges. You get one person sometimes that just does the wrong thing, and you know, that's what happens. Walter Quarick is talking about this man, a 27 year old Byron Leverett of Altoona. Leverett is accused of a woman as she was trying to leave UPMC Mercy Hospital's parking garage around 11.30 last night. The woman works at the hospital and told police Leverett demanded she give him $5 so he could leave the garage. When she didn't comply, Leverett took her ID badge out of her hand. Police say Leverett got into the back seat of the woman's car, and that's when the woman backed her car up, jumped out, and ran towards another vehicle to ask for help. She told police Leverett hit her vehicle in rage when she wouldn't cooperate. Police interviewed a couple of witnesses. One witness tried to get Leverett to come out of the car. That's when the witness says Leverett threatened to cut his neck, then grabbed the victim's duffel bag and struck the witness in the chin. I think that's a terrible thing, but I don't think it's a regular thing. Quarick and his wife come to Mercy a lot, and this is where they always park. They say they always feel safe here. They have the campus security, you know, for the whole of the campus of everything. And you can see them. I mean, they're prevalent. It just so happened that he's, you know, he just fell right through the cracks and she was there. Police eventually arrested Leverett at the Forbes Avenue exit of the garage after holding him at gunpoint. UPMC released a statement saying, quote, the safety of our patients, visitors, and staff on our campus is always our primary concern. As a matter of protocol involving an active criminal investigation, we cannot comment any further at this time. We're live tonight. Amy Wattis, KDKA News.